Once you link a Revit model into another model, there are several options to control the linked file. The current project is a site model. The actual building has been modeled in a separate Revit project file. To link the building model into the site, on the Insert ribbon, in the Link panel, click Link Revit. Then select RevitLink.RVT. In the positioning drop-down, choose Auto, Origin to Origin, and then click Open. Once Revit reads the file and brings it in, you can see it within the host model. Select the linked model. When you do, on the contextual ribbon, in the link panel, there are two tools. Bind link will convert the linked Revit model into a group within the host file. Manage links will open the Manage Links dialog. Note that the Manage Links tool is also available on the Insert ribbon in the Link panel, and on the Manage ribbon in the Manage Project panel. You can also access this tool from within the Project Browser. Scroll down, right-click Revit Links, and then choose Manage Links. When you select Manage Links, Revit displays the Manage Links dialog. This dialog has five tabs, Revit, IFC, CAD formats, DWF markups, and point clouds. By default, the Revit tab is active. It currently has one link, the revitlink.rvt file. However, there is an Add tool in this dialog that you can use to link additional Revit models. When you click Add, the same import link RVT dialog displays as when you use the link Revit tool. Click Cancel. Back in the Manage Links dialog, the status of the revitlink.rvt file is shown as loaded. You can load and unload links to control their display. The reference type controls how the file is linked. When you expand this drop-down, you can see that there are two options. Overlay is the default. When linked as an overlay, only the elements actually within the linked file appear within the host. If the linked file in turn contained other linked files, the elements from those files would not appear in the current host file. When linked as an attachment, you would see both the linked file and any nested links that it contained. The Positions Not Saved setting indicates if the linked file's position has been saved in the shared coordinates system. Since you did not publish or acquire the shared coordinates before, this setting is inactive at the moment. The Saved Path value shows the location of the linked file within the computer file system. Since the linked file is in the same folder as the host, all you see is the linked file name. If this was a WorkShared project, this value would show the location of the central file. When you click in the Path Type field and expand the drop-down, you can see that this can be either a relative or an absolute path. Relative is the default. You might need to use an absolute path if you use Microsoft Distributed File Systems DFS, namespaces or if your host project and linked files are not on the same drive. If you are using Revit Server, the server path will be shown. The local alias value refers to WorkShared projects. This would show the location of the linked model if it is a local copy of a central model. When you select the linked file, other tools become active. Remove permanently removes the linked model from the host. This cannot be undone. You would have to recreate the link. Be aware that removing a link from the host model could cause you to lose critical annotations or elements hosted in the link. If you simply no longer need to see the linked model, you can click Unload. Revit displays a dialog, 
warning that unloading a link cannot be undone. But this simply means that you cannot reverse this action by using the undo tool. However, you can easily make the linked model visible again by reloading it using the Manage Links dialog. Click Yes. When you do, the status changes to Not Loaded. When you click OK to close the Manage Links dialog, the linked model is no longer visible. On the Manage ribbon, in the Manage Project panel, click Manage Links to display the Manage Links dialog again. To reload the linked file, select the linked file and then click Reload to reload the same file from the same location. Now, the status has changed back to Loaded. If the name of the linked file had changed, or if you had moved the linked project to a different folder, you would click Reload From. In that case, Revit displays the Add Link dialog so that you can navigate to the folder and select the project file to link. Select the revitlink.rvt file and click Open. Then click OK to close the Manage Links dialog. The linked model once again appears in the host model. If you are working on a work shared project, consider placing linked files in their own work set. Then, rather than unloading linked files, you can simply close the work set when you no longer need to see the linked model. This also gives you additional view-by-view -view control over the visibility of linked projects.